Hello, and welcome to Video Jug and our series on spaceflight. The Mercury Project. Following the end of the Second World War, the scientists who had designed and built Nazi Germany's V-2 rocket were divided between the USSR and the United States. Werner von Braun was adopted by the US and continued to develop ideas about rocket flight. At the same time, Russia was also developing its own rocket system. The US's first attempt at manned spaceflight was christened Project Mercury. In 1959, seven astronauts were selected to be the first in space. On the 12th of April, 1961, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first man sent into space. One month later, on May 5th, 1961, Alan Shepard climbed into a tiny capsule, only three meters by two, the Freedom 7, that had been fixed to the top of a redstone ballistic missile. He was launched on a 15-minute flight that took him straight up over 150 miles. Later that year, in July, Virgil Gus Grissom followed in Liberty Bell 7. Unfortunately, his capsule sank after splashing down in the ocean. Mercury rockets were a single-stage rocket that were designed to land in the ocean and be collected from there. Then, on February 6, 1962, John Glenn completed the first full orbit of the Earth by an American. The Mercury flights continued with Scott Carpenter and, and Wally Shira. Finally, Gordon Cooper spent one whole day in space and completed 22 orbits of the Earth to discover the effects of weightlessness on a human being. John Glenn returned to space in 1998 at the age of 77 on the Space Shuttle Discovery. These truly were the pioneers of spaceflight. For more intriguing facts on space, check out other videos here on Video Jug.